the Galar decks. Meant to shed spotlight on Pokemon who deserve it, could easily use it. Also meant to make Pokemon graphics look a lot better, which we can tell they're already reusing graphics, so it's not really a very great excuse. But we're going to focus on the first thing today, shedding spotlight. To shed spotlight on Pokemon that really deserve it, you need to take out a lot of the Pokemon that are really popular. Or, per se, ones that don't really need the spotlight as much as others do. Obviously you gotta keep some, but if you're gonna take a Pokemon, make it ones that already hit the spotlight to the point where they don't need it anymore. And when taking them out of the game, won't affect prices in paying that people are gonna spend. Basically, you want to profit from this game, you gotta make, good, you gotta make good Pokemon in the game. But, how well does the Galar deck shed spotlight against Bar? And that's what we're gonna over this episode. I personally have not looked. For this, I know in the Mew video I said I was scrolling through, scrolling through, I didn't look through, I just wanted to see how many there were, I didn't really see what Pokemon there were. Obviously I can recall a few, like the Charmander line, which we're going to talk about that, but yeah, we are going to go over this and see what Pokemon are in the Galar So easily we have the starters. Okay, I know at the top was all the Galar Pokemon, so that's not really important, but then we get here. It's here right there, the Charmander line. They don't need that. They don't need to be in this game. Take up that slot for Pokemon that actually deserve it. The Charmander line, not to say it doesn't deserve its fame, but it's had so much of it already. And it's not like it wasn't in games like Diamond and Pearl. I mean, it was in the game for transfer, but you couldn't get it for in-game means. Black and white, transfer from Oracle to Silver, Pirate Elite Green, that's your bet, right? There you go, and okay, the Caterpillar, I can see them. Pikachu line, you gotta keep them in the game. Their popularity, kinda needed. The fairy line, alright. Nine Tails line, I mean, people love it shiny, but it's not really. You got, then you got Pokemon like Arcanine, <laughs> which is at the point where it's popular, but it's not popular enough where you could take it out for something else and wouldn't even go out of notice. It's kind of what I'm talking about. Then you got the Machamp line, the Gengar line. Did I say that earlier in the video? I honestly did not know they were in here, but. <laughs> my point being, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Gyarados, we already knew they were in the game. Eevee, I think, makes sense. Because by allowing Eevee in the game, you're allowing seven Pokemon to be in there. So, yeah, more actually. I don't even know how many there are. Like right, Snorlax, alright. So, that's all the Kanto Pokemon we know so far. We go to Johto. Tokus is a huge flim staller. That's balancing out competitive, I guess, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Alright, Weavile. We already knew Weavile. I mean, we already knew all the Pokemon in the game. Tyranitar. Popular. Hugely popular. You are so shedding spotlight on Pokemon. Yeah, I am totally seeing that right now. Pelper, alright. I mean, Pelper was huge back in like 2017 VGC. We're going by Pokemon's uh, popularity standards, but I don't think it hit it to the point anymore where that matters too much. I know people are joking about Wingle a lot, but it's like... It's not... It was 2017 VGC. If I remember is when it was really popular drizzle and all that but it's not okay but I respect that I respect that I don't see the rose raid line a lot I can respect that one I respect I mean, like, you, you dragons in right we'll just clap this one all right so so far this doesn't look terrible I, I'd like combi it'll add some toughness to game give us but I hope they actually make it difficult real Lucario popular but popular not popular enough to the point where it needs to be in the game if you're really going to exclude all hundreds of Pokemon. Which, in theory, hundreds, what do you think, they're going to take out 50? If, they, if they're going to take out 50, I might as, definitely might as well put them in. They're obviously going to take out hundreds. Alright, Unova Pokemon. <laughs> I know people didn't want Trubbish, but let's be honest, <laughs> it needs the spotlight. <laughs> Reality, this is just one of those Pokemon where, like, <laughs> I feel like it's not popular for a reason. You can just take it out. I think it's funny that they put that in the game, but whatever Pokemon they're not gonna. Haxorus line, popular, but not popular enough to where it needs to be in the game. I guess you could probably shed some spotlight on it, but... I'm trying to give this the deck so far a proper encouragement where it's due, because like, the Butter line is pretty cool. Hydreigon, popular, <laughs> didn't need to be in the game. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong when I say these Pokemon, there's a lot of these Pokemon I love, but I want all Pokemon in the game more than anything. 
I don't care what people are saying about toxicity. There's reason for that. But, like, I'm just saying a lot of these Pokemon that you're putting in the game are really popular. Like, don't need to directly be in there. Slurpuff haven't seen that in a long time, actually. So they did go with the Kalos Pokemon. I do like what they do with that. A lot of them just aren't popular. So then they got some of the Alola Pokemon. Makes sense. Alright. Mimikyu. Whatever. Then we get to the Legendaries and then Mew. Honestly, Mew is the one that frustrates me the most because, let's be honest, they want money. They're going to make it accessible through new Pokemon Ball, Pokeball Plus only. Then, they're not going to be... I, how much won't that? It's not going to be able to transfer for home. Either they're not going to make a part of the deck and it's just going to be a special Pokeball Plus thing, or it's just not going to be accessible for home, Pokemon Go. Their money. That's the problem with this game. It feels more like a money grab than anything. It's kind of building off a Let's Go Pikachu Eevee feeling. Now don't get me wrong. I love this game. I want it to do great. And I'm so excited for it. But they could have done better with what they're doing so far. The Pokeball Plus thing. Huge mistake. I don't know why people aren't talking about it. Because this is just a new part of Scum, I feel like. You should be able to transfer Pokemon from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee up to Pokeball, up with the Pokeball Plus. If you've already bought it. Uh, I don't know exactly where mine is at the time, but I mean, it's in it. Oh, here it is. Right here. For people who have already gotten it, already transferred up the Mew, it's a huge waste. You know? I mean, it's not a huge waste. I mean, I love what the, I actually should talk about the Pokeball Plus in that video, because they're doing a cool thing where you can walk with it, and you get experience. And that's cool. That is really cool. Like, it's definitely worth it, but I'm saying it's a waste of a Mew, basically. Like... I mean, I'm definitely going to be using this to walk. I, I would hope I can use this one at least in the game, but, you know, I mean, this is kind of like a free daycare right there. And as a runner, that's great because just take this out and run. <laughs> Bring to track. I don't know, but we'll talk about that in our video because I think that's kind of cool, but probably won't because I already just brought it up. But anyway, I hope you all like some new boy Jim and Sia Stiles from everybody and um, bring back the national packs. <laughs> Um, Twitter, I mean, uh, links in the description, uh, go check those out, um, yeah, so that's all for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed your time, I'll see you guys later.